Hey, what's up, guys? This is Ren Zero. Uh, yesterday, there was a video that was posted. It was called Something to Think About. Um, I took really, I really got really offended by the video. Uh, and I'll explain my reasons, but the reason why I'm making this video is because I wanted to apologize to the community. I wanted to apologize to him. I don't even remember what his name was. And apologize to uh, Dale for uh, acting out the way I did on, on uh, uh, Bootleg's uh, video. Um, uh, I love going to his, his uh, uh, channel and, and seeing him rant about, you know, life generally. And, you know, and he's always he, he always working on something which I always wonder what he was working on but uh, besides the point I want to apologize uh, I was gonna take the comment down but I'm a man that stands by uh, by everything that I say do even by my mistakes and I made a very serious mistake I, I slung shit on his channel and uh, I I shouldn't have done that um, and as me as a community leader and, and promoting that we always be positive I I really I really drop the ball and uh, again I stand by my mistake and I apologize but I will tell you why I exploded and it, again I'm not justifying it it was wrong what I did and uh, I shouldn't have said anything at all um, but I, I, I really I really lost it and what it was was when he uh, started talking about uh, epiphany that he had you know a car accident so I'm thinking man, something you know something positive but now I went completely negative very very fast and he I go okay it's his opinion I want to hear what he has to say he started talking about politics well gaming and politics don't mix because you make a lot of enemies talking politics and I don't care what country you're from you talk politics you're going to make some enemies and uh, so he started talking about it. Yeah, I agreed with him. There was a lot that I agreed with him on. And I was like, okay, I get it. And then he started talking about, you know, about what makes America so good. Or he asked a question and then he said, started talking about the troops and not to mention troops as a defense because he will puke on camera. And right there, that was a slap to all the soldiers' faces. And already I was starting to get upset because I come from a proud family that all served in the Marines. From every campaign of uh, World War II, uh, two, you know, all the way up until now, my family has been in wars for this country. So I was already offended, but again, you know, trying to stay positive, I left it. I just kind of just listened, and I go, well, maybe there's going to be a point to this because he does have good things to say. So he starts going on and going on, and he starts talking about how it's a polit you know, a politician's game. We all know that. You know, none of us here, you know, in every country, you guys can go all the way to every government. There, There's corruption everywhere. Yes, United States is not immune to that. I'm pretty well, I'm aware that it's, it, everyone is licking each other's butts and, and, and throwing money back and forth at each other. And who pays for everything? The citizens, as always, you know, once the, you know, they get in debt, who they, whose pockets they dig into? The citizens. We pay for everything. I got friends in Germany, Britain, and they all have the same story. No jobs, no money, but they're paying taxes. And why do they have to be charged for this and this? And now they're upping the prices. It's everywhere. United States is not immune. So I'm listening to this. And then he starts talking about how he's ashamed to be, you know, of being an American. And by then, I'm already starting to calm down. I'm starting to feel a little better. And then uh, he starts talking about he's ashamed to be an American. Well, some people are. Yeah, you, you know, it's okay. It's his opinion. He's ashamed. All right, I get it. You know, we're, we're not in the best position right now, and I get it. And, and a lot of the world is upset with America. We're, we're putting our noses in places where it shouldn't be, but it, it's, it's politics. And then he tells everybody that he, everyone that's an American should be ashamed. Now he's pushing his opinion on people. That's how I took it. And he went on and he continued to, to push that point. And then he wanted video, or not video responses, but responses and comments that for people to agree with him, you know, go ahead and put them in the comments. And I'm sorry, that breeds hate, you know, because we're already pissed off about the world, about the economy, about there's no money, there's no jobs, we're all, you know, what does uh, Canvas Wednesday, a, a factory kick shit or shitter, you know, shit, what is it, factory shit kicker? Yeah, that's what he said. And it, everyone's doing that, you know, everyone's just trying to make a buck and trying to survive. And, and for him to continue on that he wants, everyone should be ashamed 
to be, you know, be called an American. About that time I snapped and I decided I wasn't going to say anything. Then he goes on about how, you know, people are going to look at him as some fat whiny, you know, guy that's, you know, just crying to the camera. That, and now that's starting to rub me the wrong way because now it's like feeding my anger. And that was the point of it all is that I didn't want videos like that or me to watch videos like that because it breeds anger. It, it breeds hate. And I fell right into it. I fell right into it. And... It was bad form on my part. So I wanted to explain, I wanted to, how I viewed the video, and yeah, he had some great points. I apologized to him. I shouldn't have said, said the things I said. I shouldn't have exploded the way I exploded. Again, they're all opinions, but I, I handled it wrong. It's simple, and I'm apologizing publicly to everybody because I stand by every word I say I stand by even my, my, my mistakes. I stand by them. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for listening.